Give you a chunky only me for a Sunday, and here we go again. Then it looks like London is on the brink, and it looks like it's going from bad to worse. All the ladies wanted yesterday was an admission that the police overreacted, and Cressida Dick has doubled down. She says, no, 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 I will not be resigning, and in fact, we did nothing wrong. We were simply following COVID rules. Tonight from nine, we'll be live with the phone in here at The Voice of Reason with me, Alex Belfield, talking to David Curtin. If I had my way, he'll be the next mayor of London. He's a man who is not putting up with any of this nonsense and has some very strong opinions about what has happened in the last 24 hours in our capital. Alu Mush, so the chickens are coming home to roost then. It seems to me these rules that have been in place that most people haven't cared about are now seemingly coming to the realisation of what I brought to you nine months ago, that our human and civil rights have gone. It's not going, they have gone, and that means you cannot protest, you cannot go and pay tribute, you cannot go and mourn, you are not allowed, because if it's in numbers greater than two, that is a march or a protest, then it will be disbanded by the police. The police's job is to keep order within the community and to keep the community safe, yet last night as a vigil uh, for Sarah Everard, it turned into an effective riot with ladies thrown on the floor, the very women who were screaming only moments ago that they felt oppressed by men who threw them through the floor. This couldn't have been a bigger PR disaster for London, for the Met, or indeed the United Kingdom. These pictures being blasted around the world have led to a day of even more ridiculousness, foolishness from Cressida Dick, who simply is so arrogant she cannot read the room and understand that saying, I won't resign, I'm going to get more passionate to do what I did last night, really doesn't help. What happened to Sarah appalls me. As you know, I'm the first woman commissioner of the Met. Perhaps it appalls me in a way even more because of that. What has happened makes me more determined, not less, to lead my organisation. And I don't think anybody should be sitting back in an armchair and saying, well, that was done badly or I would have done it differently without actually understanding what the... This is what happens when some people get power. They just go insane. Insane, drunk with power. They was going through their minds. I guarantee that every single officer who was... Oh, yeah, I guarantee. God. ...policing last night, like me, would rather we were not in the time of coronavirus. There could be a large, peaceful set of vigils all over the country. A Phony excuse. Coronavirus. Phony. Most of them would have been at those vigils. And I guarantee also that my officers up and down London and beyond, if they weren't working, will have been thinking of Sarah at 9.30 last night. On top of that, you've got a London mayor who is so clueless, so ridiculous, so preposterous, so box ticking, so up his own ass that he doesn't want to address the reality either. He says London's not safe, but is not willing to do anything about it. In fact, what he does about it is emasculate our police further so they feel they can't do anything. He says he wants a more fair police, he wants a more kind police, he wants a less stop and search police, yet what is happening, crime is going up. And not just that, but after this week, it could even be down to certain members of the police if the accusations are true following the arrest and charge of a Met police officer. This couldn't be going worse for Sadiq, for Cressida Dick, for Pretty Patel or even Boris Johnson. And I feel that London is on the brink. Somebody needs to do something to de-escalate this and calm people down. Doing nothing and doubling down, saying they are simply wrong and these people were doing their job is ludicrous. Saying that the police are on their side at the same time they're being wrestled to the ground is not a very good fucking way of handling this, Miss Dick. I am all for policing of people, but you cannot stop people from being upset about something they are upset about. That is what you're trying to say. They had no right to feel the way they did. Well, Cressida, that's not the way it goes. They are very, very upset at you and they're upset at men. And this isn't going to go away by getting your men in the police to wrestle them to the ground. Currently outside Scotland Yard, there is a big protest. We're not going to play any of this video for two reasons. I don't want to be caught up in inciting anything. I also don't want to be a victim of YouTube closed downs because we're putting this video online. I'm simply talking about it to bring you this story and keeping this channel myself legally 
civilly and criminally safe because what they don't want is people talking about this and I want to do it within the rules so I'm going to remain squeaky clean by not playing you uh, footage or even showing you images. There's no point so we'll keep this video dry as we call it in show business. So there you go then. As far as I'm concerned, this is going to blow up next weekend. They're going to start all again. There are going to be more protests. There's going to be bigger rallies. There's going to be more marches, more protesting Good. on the back of last week. So they've actually made it doubly worse by just not letting them get on with it. Yes, I agree they shouldn't be there. Yes, I agree the law says they shouldn't be doing it. Yes, I agree a judge ruled that on Friday. But they have done it. They were there. And dealing it with it this way has just made it worse. I'm sort of glad in a way this has happened because it proves how obscene it is this year that we have had every civil liberty taken away, every human right taken away. And now finally, the women have noticed. The women are feeling how we felt all year, unable to protest, unable to have a voice. And when you do, the police double down and wrestle people to the ground. And this isn't the first time this has happened. Remember the anti-lockdown protests? The same thing happened there. I noticed they weren't so aggressive during BLM. They seem to let them get away with it. But there you are. That's a curious uh, double standard of 2020, 2021. We'll keep up to date with this breaking story. It's not going to get better. London on the brink. Tonight from nine, we are going to be live with David Curtin. Do join us then. You can call us 0115 888 from about quarter past nine tonight.